<laughs> oh, hi there. I'm Dan Kelly. The video you're about to watch will take you through the do's, the don'ts, and for the love of all that's holy, don't even think about of the Theater Artist Workshop lighting system. But let's start at the beginning. Come on. As you enter the back door, or stage door, there is a light switch located immediately to the left as you come in that turns on the light to the entryway. Inside the theater, there's a light switch located immediately to the right that turns on the lights over the library shelves. Walking straight ahead brings you to the Theater Artist Workshop lighting booth. Here, there are switches that turn on the spark lights over the stage, and this dimmer switch turns on the house lights. And if you're just looking to rehearse, you're done. You've got work lights, you've got house lights. By not turning on the stage lights, you not only save electricity, you save money, and you're saving the planet. But let's say you want to turn the stage lights on. That gets a little more complicated. Let's take a look and see how that goes. To turn on the stage lights, we've got to go back to the lighting booth. The first thing to do once we get here is to turn on the power strip underneath the lighting table. The red light should come on. This will send power to the lighting control board as well as the sound equipment. The next thing to do is to turn on the two scary circuit breakers on the rear wall of the lighting booth. One, two. It doesn't matter what order you turn them on. This sends power to the dimmer packs. The dimmer packs, controlled by the lighting board, are what sends power to the lighting instruments above. The trick is working the lighting board. Now this is the way I like to leave the lighting board. All the sliders on the left hand side are in the down position. All the sliders on the right hand side are in the up position. The bottom row are submasters which have been programmed to control a group of lights in order to create one specific look. The first submaster controls a general wash of the entire stage which can be put up full for bright or less for a dimmer look. Other looks include bright center with dim sides, specials for single locations, and a pretty red spot to make someone look, well, scary. As the plays change, some of this programming may change, but that first slider should always control a general wash of the stage. You can't go wrong with a nice general wash. The other side of the lighting board gets a little more complicated. Now most of these buttons are used to control the programming of the submasters and looks in the other scene. However, this slider on the far right is the Grand Master. No matter what lights are up on stage, the Grand Master will control them all, bringing them down or up. Just beneath that is the blackout button. Hitting this turns off lights to the entire stage. If the indicator over the blackout button is red, there won't be any lights on stage. I'm not going to get into what these other sliders do in this video, 
But just know the best idea is to have them all up. Using this one Grand Master and one or two of the submasters in the lower half of the lighting board, you've got all the control you need to use the stage lights here at the workshop. To leave, it's always nice to bring the submasters down, leaving all the sliders up on the right, up. Turn off the two circuit breakers on the wall. Turn off the power strip. Bring down the house lights. Make sure the work lights on stage are off. Turn the library lights on so that you can get safely to the back door. Turn them off as you go. Switch the light in the entryway off. And not that this has anything to do with the lights, but make sure the back door is shut and shut tightly. But what if they're not working? All right, this brings us to the troubleshooting part of the video. Let's take a look at some of the common problems that might stop the lights from working. If the stage lights won't go on, first, let's look underneath the lighting booth. Is the power strip on? Make sure the power strip is turned on. Let's look at the dimmer packs underneath the sound equipment. Are any of those lights on? If the lights aren't on, probably the circuit breakers aren't on. Let's make sure the circuit breakers are turned on. And there should be indicator lights showing the dimmer packs are getting power. Now let's take a look at the lighting board. Are there any indicator lights on? Is this display lit up? If not, somebody might have turned off the power to the light board itself. The switch is located here and back. There. Now it's on. If somebody has switched that off, well, they were naughty. On the left hand side of the lighting board, if I bring up Submaster 1, Notice how the indicator lights at the top of the board light up indicating the controller is trying to send power to those dimmers. If the lights aren't coming up on stage, maybe the blackout button has been pressed. The indicator light above the blackout button, if it's blinking red, then the stage is blacked out. Hit the blackout button to bring the lights up. Also make sure the submasters here on the right hand side of the board are in the up position. Posted on the wall of the lighting booth, all these instructions are repeated. Also, to the left of the lighting board, look, pictures that show you where all these switches are. All right, let's review the basics one more time. As you come in the back door, the entry light is immediately to your left. As you enter the theater, the library lights are to the right. At the lighting booth, you can turn on the work lights, the house lights. To turn on the stage lights, first turn on the power strip, then turn on the two circuit breakers at the back wall. On the lighting board, the sliders on the right should all be up. The sliders on the left should all be down. Use one of the submasters on the bottom left-hand side to find a scene with lights you need. And that's about it. Now, if you're having trouble working in the lights, ask another member for help. But if the lights aren't working or you just want a special lighting effect for a scene, contact the technical support name listed in the lighting booth or a board member because you won't look right without the right light. Good night.